Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to run a Unix script from Power Center that is running on a Windows box. It applies for any Power Center version. Okay, so the agenda for the video is first uh, our scenario that is a Power Center running on a Windows box. And to, to execute that you need a per link, put link. You you can download it from the internet and move it to the power center server. I recommend you to use the same bit version as the power center. So then you need to create a, a Unix script and test it before you do anything else. After that, you create a bat file on a power center machine and test it. This power center or this bat file is going to call the Unix script and execute what needs to be done. So, <coughs> the first connection to the Unix box, I strongly recommend you to do it by the PuT tool and make sure that the cer certificate gets created and you can manually trust it. Uh, then uh, you create a workflow with a common task that calls the bat file and this bat file is going to call the remote Unix script and finally you just run the workflow okay so here is my uh, Unix box in fact it's a Linux box and I just create this Pelink underscore test dot sh script. It simply runs a, a date command line and creates an output file. Okay, so let's see the date now. Uh, now I'm going to run this script. So looking here, the output. Yeah, it works. So now I know that the Unix script is working. Now I'm going to work on Power Center server on Unix on Windows box. So here's my <coughs> Windows box and over here I have the putty link 64 bit. I have also the here the putty like I said, the first connection I strongly recommend you to do manually here. Let me show you why. Let's say you want you need to connect to a server. So this is the f when you connect to the, uh, a Unix box for the first time, <laughs> it's ask you about this key. So you manually trust it. So that's why you need to, to make the first login here uh, manually. Okay, and let me close it. After I have done this, uh, I'm going to show you this run cdr.bat script. Basically, it calls the put link in a batch. I do a SSH to the host the user and the password and it calls the uh, Unix uh, script that I just tested and it worked fine. I just showed you the content of the bad script run CDR and I'm going to run it. Just started it seems that it worked so now I'm going to run the more here okay so it seems that it's working fine let me run it again okay so the bad script is running fine from power center or oh, from windows command line so now I need to run this run CDR from the power center command task here in the 
workflow manager I created a very simple workflow that has just a, a common task in this common task what I do have here is that I have the run cdr dot batch file this is a <coughs> empty file just for additional to these ones are important for to to track a, a log or an error but the main one is this run cdr dot path so now let me run it just started okay let me run it again let me do a yeah it was just updated let me run it once again and I should see a new timestamp here yeah it changed so it's working okay in summary today you have learned how to run a unix script from power center that is running on, on windows platform i recommend you to review these two kb articles 138667 and 157722 it has some useful information about this uh, knowledge base that i shared with you your feedback is more than welcome Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter, info support. Thank you.